So I just got this uh, Sharper Image Massage Ball Roller with Mount. And I want to walk you through first um, it deconstructed. So the ball is in here and we just push it in. And this gets pushed into here. And then on the side, you see a lock and an arrow. And you also see an unlock. So when it's time to remove the ball, you basically pull this unit out. You see there's like nothing that screws on. So really it's just you pull it out. And then from here, the ball is actually sitting inside this case. So what I did was I turned it like this and I used my thumb and I pushed it out because as you can see, even inside here, it's smooth. So it's just inserted and pushed and then it snaps in, see? So what I really love about this is, so I have already put this in the freezer for uh, two hours and 15 minutes and I left it out out of curiosity for 35 minutes and it's still so, so cold. So now that I walked you through how to snap this back on, uh, one of the beautiful things about these ice roller balls is it kind of curves your body in the weird places super well. Like I have tendonitis on this elbow. So it's so cold. I think metal just retains that cold so much better. So this is going to last a long time. And it rolls super well. It glides on you super well. And because it's round, you're getting like the smallest area you know, hitting um, your skin uh, very, very well. And when I roll it even over my bone, it feels really, really comfortable. And as I'm rolling it, I can feel other areas that I feel pain and tension. And so I'm able to just roll it as quickly or as slowly. I press it harder or I glide it across softer. Oh, I found a really good spot right here. Didn't even know it hurt over here. I've been focusing the front portion of my arm, not realizing there's actually pain back here too. Another thing I really like is for knee pain, you know, it's hard to roll around the kneecap because there's so much bone, but because it's round, I can go all the way around or just concentrate in this one area and hold it. And I love that you put it in this casing because this casing, I don't feel any cold at all. All the cold is on the ball. So I, even if this was colder, right when I took it out and I didn't let it sit for half an hour, I could just hold this and I feel totally comfortable. So I can roll it around my knee. I could roll it on the side of my neck. Oh, this feels good too. I think I have a little bit of jaw strain. Oh, this feels so good. When you're doing some of the neck exercises, this is one of the areas that there's always like some pain. So it feels really good to roll this cold across that muscle. When you have headaches, roll it feels so good another thing I really like is so let me see if I could do it sideways okay, I put it right here so you can see it hopefully I could reach it so for my foot my foot here's the ball like I can leave this on the floor oops I could leave it on the floor and roll like for my plantar fasciitis oh 
So I accidentally dropped it on the floor. Thankfully, it's on carpet because that's another thing that in the booklet it warns you is that when you use the mount, uh, try to have something like on the floor. So should it fall like what I just did, right? I demonstrated I accidentally dropped it. It hit the carpet. No damage whatsoever. So, you know, you don't want this falling on your tile. Anyway, so you could put this on the floor. So I'll leave it on the base. That's a little bit more safer. So you could leave it on the floor and roll the plantar fasciitis area or heel spurs. Um, I have also pain. I'm starting to get like some arthritis on this middle, uh, not middle finger, ring finger. So it's great to, it's great to like roll it like this or roll it on my palm right here. The pain is like right here. So I can do that as well. So notice that I only gently placed it in here. If I'm planning to use it for the wall, I actually need to make sure I push it in. Oh, it actually twists in. So you see how there's less of a gap? And just to test it that it's screwed on properly. You could turn it upside down before using it. So now I'm going to take some pictures and have this mounted on different surfaces to demonstrate um, that you could uh, affix this on certain surfaces. And then uh, what you can do is like, let's say, you know, although you can hold it for the back of your neck, but what if you want to do your shoulder blade like around here? But for the back, if you had it on the wall, like say I stand up to the wall and I know this is the height, then you could affix this to the wall to that height. Then you just turn your back up against it and, you know, massage it that way. So the rest uh, of my review, I'm going to actually take some pictures and attach it.